So currently we're doing um, 20 apartments here. It consists of six stories, uh, basement five stories above the basement, and also a car stacker um, with, that, that's entered through the basement. Originally, we had an existing building here uh, that we had to do some high-end demolition. Uh, now that's down, we're into the earthworks and the underpinning of the job. Currently, we're on the uh, the stage of underpinning of the adjacent buildings uh, to our site. So, it's doing an additional building to an existing building or structure to ensure that that building structure is strong and stable. Deemed that the adjacent building's um, footings were inadequate for the excavation that was being taken place on our side of the job. And so additional um, underpinning was required underneath those footings to ensure we weren't undermining it uh, within the excavation um, process of our job. Originally, we get in contact with a temporary engineer who comes to site and has a look at the, the site. In this process, he provides a uh, methodology for us to, to tackle the, the underpinning. During this process, he, he the methodology he prescribed was a hit and miss process. And in that process, we do it in sections so that we're not taking out a complete section uh, and undermining that, that section. So uh, it's a hit and miss. You do one metre, um, you know, leave two metres and do another metre. The risks that are associated with these works is ensuring that we don't over excavate uh, an area so we're not undermining uh, existing building or structure. We also have to be ensure that we follow the correct methodology. Once the excavation has taken place, we uh, form up our formwork and then we have a letterbox system. So it's basically a chute at the top of the formwork. After we've done that, we pin it all in. Uh, and then backfill it with material, natural material from the site. Uh, just so it holds it in and there's no blowouts when the mass concrete goes uh, within that um, underpinning section. Lessons are learned is just to engage as much as possible with the engineer and ensure that you follow their methodology uh, that they specifically prescribe to you for the job. Uh, and then ensuring that your, uh, your subcontractors are then on board with that uh, and ensuring that they are performing the task um, as per the step-by-step -step methodology.